Do you find the holidays to be a time of overindulging, mindless eating, having all these treats in your house, and getting out of your workout routine and just your healthy routine in general? And maybe you want to actually enjoy the holidays, but not gain weight. Have confidence, have some ease in making healthy choices. Well, today I'm going to be giving 10 tips so that you can get through the holidays in a healthy way and not gain weight and have confidence. And before we get started today, I want to tell you about my healthy holiday challenge because maybe you've heard some tips before and maybe you've start them but quickly stopped and given up. And maybe you want to do this holiday differently. So if you want to get through this holiday actually sticking and staying consistent with those things that you want for your health, then I encourage you to set up a free call with me and we'll chat. And during this challenge, we're going to teach you how to do this holiday different. You're going to have support. You're going to set intentions each week. You're going to learn how to create balance so that you can enjoy the holiday, but also take care of your health. And you're going to learn how to prioritize you because it's so easy, especially during the holidays, to not prioritize our health. And I have some bonuses going on for those who sign up. So the first bonus is you're going to get an extra free call with me. You're also going to get a weekly meal plan so that you have some ideas of healthy things that you can eat and you don't have to think about it each week. And you're also going to have the option to get a personal meditation by me. So this will be specific to you. So say you're struggling with sugar cravings or busyness. I'm going to use your words and customize this meditation to you so you can continue to have that encouragement and focus that you need. So all you need to do is check the description down below, set up a free call with me, We'll just talk. We'll make sure that this challenge is right for you so that you can get through the holidays with more confidence, with ease, and that you can actually stick to your health goals this time. Hi, friends, and welcome to the Healthy Beyond 40 show. I'm Michelle, mama four, a military wife. I have my doctorate in physical therapy, and I'm an online personal trainer, health coach, and yoga teacher. Do you wish that you had more energy and could get into shape? Do you feel like you're struggling to lose weight? Maybe you've tried a diet before, but it just wasn't sustainable, and now you don't know how to get started. We're going to look at health holistically here, and most importantly, keep things simple and quick. If you're ready to develop healthier habits, exercise consistently, and lose weight sustainably without long workouts or following strict diets, then you're in the right place. In this podcast, I bring together my expertise with real life strategies. No magic pill here, so lace up those shoes and get moving. All right, so let's dive into these 10 tips for today. So my first tip is to decide of ahead of time. And this is for lots of different areas. So for this, I mean, when you're going to go to a party, maybe when you have different events for your kids, maybe when you're just visiting with someone, I want you to decide of ahead of time what you are going to do. Maybe you're going to be traveling during the holidays. How are you going to handle that? How are you going to handle it in the car when you get to the person's house? When we take the time to decide ahead of time what we're going to do, it becomes a lot clearer and we're a lot more likely to stick to our goals. The other thing I want you to decide ahead of time about is your routine. So for me, I'm going to keep my morning routine. So that means I'm going to wake up and set aside an hour of time to read my Bible to do some Christian yoga, to pray, to start to move my body and just really start my day with some intention and focus. I'm also going to stick to having a healthy breakfast because I think it's so helpful when I start my day well and I start it well with nutrition. So that means I'm going to be getting some protein. I'm going to be getting some fiber. I'm going to have my Organifi green juice. And that way I'm starting my day good. And if you guys haven't heard of Organifi's green juice, it has adaptogen herbs in it in a natural way that helps to give me energy and also has a bunch of micronutrients in it too. So it's a really way to start my day with a good dose of nutrition. If you guys want to check out it, use the code HEALTHY20. There's going to be a link down below. I also really love their gold. They have pumpkin pie spice right now. I like to have that in the evening to just wind down my day. So check that out. So we want to make sure that we're sticking to our routines. Another routine I'm going to stick to, I'm going to talk a little bit later, is my exercise and movement routine. Because when I stick to some of these basics, even during the holiday when things are all different and out of whack, I'm able to stay more consistent with my health. All right, so tip number two is don't show up places hungry. So before I go places, I'm gonna make sure that I'm not starving 
unless for some reason I know there's going to be lots of healthy stuff there. But I'm going to make sure that I'm not hungry when I go somewhere. So I might have some protein or some veggies or some nuts and seeds or something before so that I'm not starving and famished. Because when we're starving and famished, we reach for those high carbs. We reach for that sugar because our body needs something quick. Tip number three is to make sure that you're drinking enough water. This one is so simple, but commonly people who aren't drinking enough water and they start to drink enough water, they really have some pretty amazing results. So it makes a big difference when we're hydrated. So I always carry a water bottle with me pretty much wherever I go. So I always have it right with me. It is a habit. It also reminds me to keep drinking. So make sure that as you're starting your day and you're going through different things, you are drinking enough water. You're getting enough with breakfast at lunch all this time leading up to maybe you have somewhere to go. All right, tip number four is think about having smaller portions. So this is where we can start to develop some balance. So maybe we are having a cookie that we really love, but how can we have a small portion of it and not eat five of them or eat 10 different cookies? Maybe we're having little bites of five different cookies. Whatever it is, we need to think about our portion size. And again, this is bringing some more mindfulness about what we are eating. And it also allows some enjoyment around food and our favorite things in this special time of year. And it gives us that space to be able to enjoy the holiday, enjoy and savor some of these foods without going overboard. So this is definitely something we're going to be working on in the challenge is how to have smaller portions, how to make sure that we're drinking our water and doing these different pieces so that we're setting more intention through the holiday and we're creating that balance. Tip number five is to load up on protein and non-starchy vegetables as much as you can when you're at an event. So we really want to make sure that we're loading up on these healthier things that are going to make us feel more full and also tend to make our body and our hormones and everything function a little bit better. And maybe saving the starch and the carbs for a smaller portion or making sure that we're eating our protein and our veggies first And then maybe we're having those mashed potatoes or whatever it is. But as we start to fill up our plate and we're thinking about our portion size, also thinking about, am I getting some protein with this? Am I getting some non-starchy vegetables and some healthy things with it? And tip number six is eat to about 80% full. So I have had clients that are completely unaware of when they're hungry and when they're full. And we need to start to bring some awareness to this. So we don't want to be stuffed. That's 100% full. It doesn't feel good. I know I don't like when I feel that way. So how can we start to be more mindful and pay attention to our hunger and our fullness cues? So this one really takes some time to develop, but just setting that intention and starting to become more aware of when you are full and really noticing that point before you get full, because that's where we want to stop. We really want to stop before we're full, before we're at that 100% full. Tip number seven is when you're getting to that 80% full or you know you've had enough to eat is having that plan. So that could be putting gum in your mouth. That could be walking away from the table or, or wherever that food is. That could be going out for a walk. Whatever it is, start to have a plan. For when you are done eating, what you are going to do so you don't mindlessly keep snacking off the table wherever there is food. So this is a huge one. And again, this sort of goes with that first idea of deciding ahead of time. So we want to specifically think about this. And with all these tips, if you're trying something and it's not working, that's where you have to try something else. Don't give up. Don't say that gum didn't work because I just spit it out and had something else. Figure out what is going to work for you because there's something. If in your heart it is set for you to get through these holidays healthy, you need to keep trying different things. You need to keep giving your all to this. Tip number eight is to be mindful around alcohol and sugary drinks. So we want to make sure that we are drinking in moderation outside of drinking our water. So we want to think about our portion. We might also want to set a limit. So what is my limit of how much of that alcohol or that sugary drink am I going to have? Can I have just a really small portion, have a taste of it, and I'm good? And especially if you know, for example, alcohol, when you start drinking, it makes you eat more and drink more. Decide what you want to do around that. Is that what you want to do? 
then go ahead and do that. Do you want to do something else this holiday season? Then let's work through that. And a lot of times with sugar, alcohol, there's other feelings or different things that are going on and it can be more complex. But it's making that decision about what you want to do this holiday season. How do you want to handle it differently? Number 10 is deciding what you want to do with leftovers. So there's different scenarios here. So maybe you're having a party at your house and you have all these leftovers. So maybe you're going to decide to give them away. Maybe you're going to decide to keep a little bit of something. Maybe you're going to freeze them. Maybe you're going to throw some out because there's so much left over and nobody else would take it. But you know that it's not going to work out good if you keep it at your house. And also, when you go somewhere else and someone wants to send leftovers home with you, really think, do I want to bring this into my house? Or did I have enough of it and I don't need any more? So really being mindful about leftovers, putting some intention behind that. And tip number 10, our last tip is about exercise and movement. And as I said at the beginning, I decide to keep movement and exercise part of my routine. So for me, having 15 minutes of non-negotiable exercise or movement time daily is what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to stick to because I know my body feels so much better when I move, when I stretch it, when I strengthen my muscles. And so I'm going to have that minimum of 15 minutes. But there's going to be other days where I might do a 30-minute workout plus I might go for a walk. But I'm going to have that minimum there for me so I can keep that attention because I know what my body feels good. Also, when it comes to this movement and exercise piece is how can you get some bonus movement in here? So that might be going for a walk with someone. It might be taking your kids or grandkids to the park and playing with them and running around a little bit with them. It might be asking a friend to come do a yoga class with you. So I do these different things to get bonus movement in to get outside because it just makes me feel better. But we have to start to prioritize that and think about that. So a quick review, I'm also going to put these 10 tips in the description so that you guys have a visual too. So number one, decide ahead of time. Number two, don't show up hungry and making sure that you're eating some protein and veggies ahead of time. Number three, making sure that you are drinking plenty of water, especially starting your day hydrated. Number four, think about portion size. Aim for those smaller portions. Number five is load up on protein and non-starchy veggies when you are at a party. Number six, eat till you're about 80% full. Number seven is have a strategy ahead of time for when you are done eating. So maybe that's chewing gum or walking away. Number eight is limit your alcohol and sugary drinks. Really just become more mindful and decide how you're going to handle that. Number nine is decide what you're going to do with leftovers. Maybe you're going to skip them. Maybe you're not going to bring them into your house, but making sure that you are handling leftovers in a way that still helps you reach your goals. And number 10 is deciding and setting intention for exercise and movement during the holidays. So I hope that these tips were helpful for you. And I would love to hear from you guys after the holiday if you implemented any of these tips and you found it more successful. And if you want some more help and support during the holidays so that you just don't hear these, but that you actually implement them, you have support and you have some accountability and you really want to learn how to do holidays differently by setting that intention, creating balance and prioritizing yourself, I encourage you to join my Healthy Holidays Challenge Just check the description down below for the link. All right, guys, have a great day and keep moving.